Yo, what's up, Freeze Army, and welcome to the Spagiari Subversion Escalation. This is level one to level five, all in one video. And for this level one, we're going to bring along our remote explosive duck, and that's pretty much all you're going to need. We've only got one target for this one, and we're actually going to take him out with the uh, an explosive accident. So, so when you start up, you'll make sure you skip the opening camera panning shot, run straight over to where this car is over here. This is the target right in front of us. And we're actually going to drop the duck right next to the car, just in front of the car right there. And we're going to explode it on the way out. Now what's going to happen is the duck is going to explode the car. And then the car is going to kill the target. And that will be an accident kill. And then you can head straight to the exit. And that will complete level 1. Nice and easy, nice and simple for level level 1 really. Level 2 is actually very similar. But that's how you do level 1. Nice and easy, nice and quick. There's your sign as that's a rating. And you'll do that in just 30 seconds. And for level 2, we're just going to bring along a remote explosive this time. You can bring your another duck if you want to, any kind of other explosive that you've got. And uh, so we've got the rubber duck and another explosive. So we've got two targets for this one. And again, the, the first target is still exactly the same. We're just going to do the same thing for him. Uh, drop the duck out of your inventory and explode that. And then get behind this van here, drop your remote explosive and explode that as well. And then once you've done that, you can run straight to the exit and that will take care of level 2. And again, it's nice and simple, nice and easy. Uh, like I said, what you've done is exploded the vehicles, and the vehicles have actually killed them, and you'll get both accident kills for both targets there. And this is literally the same exit as we did before in the previous level, and again you'll get a nice and quick easy silent assassin for level 2 as well, so there you go. Already we've bounced through levels 1 and 2, but it does get significantly more difficult as time goes on. Now for level 3 we're going to bring along the same equipment as we did in the previous level. I've only decided to bring the Kruger Meyer, I mean it's no different really. And then we're going to pull out our pistol, shoot the back of the van to create that crime notice pop up on the screen. Now both guards are going to move towards the uh, move and both of them are going to react to the alarm going off from the vehicle. And you want to make sure that it does say crime notice on the screen because if it doesn't say crime notice this isn't going to work for you. So you make sure that crime notice is coming up on the screen. So once we enter the sewers right here we're just going to grab a crowbar and then we're going to pull out our pistol, get behind this door right here, and then uh, peek out uh, over the door, and then shoot the guy in the leg, and then quickly punch him in the face and knock him out. Now, as long as you leg shoot him and, sh and knock him out before he gets back up, the unconscious witness thing is not going to affect your rating or anything like that, so don't worry about that. So once we grab the priest disguise right there, we're going to do what we did in the previous two levels now, and the guards should go back into the same routine while standing next to the vehicles, and that is when we're going to take them out. So this is a nice, quick, easy way of doing uh, this particular level in the escalations. We did come up with a different strategy for this during a live stream that we did, and some guy at the top of the leaderboard did uh, a route similar to this, I think, because he got one minute 25 for level three. I got one minute 35 for this for this run. So I'm guessing he did something very similar to this. And it was rattling my brain at the time to try and figure out how he did it. And I think it's somewhat along these lines of what he did. So that's a nice, quick, easy way of doing the level 3. So that's going to get your silent assassin for level 3. Now for level 4, again, we're going to bring along the same equipment. Again, we're taking out the target again the same way. Only this time, we've got a third target now. And he's going to be inside the church. We have to take all, our, all three targets out with the priest disguise. And... With the third target as well, we have to put his body in a shredder straight after we've killed him. So that's kind of an annoying thing we have to do. But again, we're going to do the same thing as we did in the previous level and create that crime notice there to get both guards to move. I used instinct there to see uh, to make sure that they're both guards were moving there. Now, if, this, if the guard to the right isn't moving, he is going to carry on with his routine and that's going to mess this thing up. So if it doesn't say crime notice and he doesn't move, then make sure you restart and try that again. So as we enter the sewers here, we're just going to do the same thing as we did before. I'm going to grab a coin as well, just in case we need it. I'm going to grab a crowbar and take out this guy the same day, uh, same way we did before. You can throw a crowbar at his head as well. However, it's a little bit more risky than just than, than just to shoot him in the leg and, you know, uh, knock him out. Like I said, it says unconscious witness, but it doesn't affect your rating, so don't worry about that. I'm going to take out the evidence as well, um, because he's going to come into play a little bit later on. We will get spotted by a camera, but because we've taken out the, the cameras there, it doesn't really make a difference. So the first target is going to be here to our right, but we're going to take care of him last. Um, because it just times it all a little bit better. We need to go back around anyway. So, as I said, because we stopped their uh, momentum a little bit earlier, they've gone back to the same old routine and we can explode both targets the same way as we did in the previous three levels. And now we can go back inside the church and take out the third guy. And we're going to go all the way around because there is going to be an enforcer right, side the, uh, right by the door that we came out from. So that's why we have to circle all the way around. 
Now the garden shredder is just going to be to our right down the back of the courtyard, uh, the graveyard I should say, sorry. And uh, it's going to have two gardeners in there, so they've removed quite a lot of uh, people from the graveyard for you to make it a little bit easier. So what I'm actually going to do is shoot that guy in the head so that'll take care of your third target. And like I said now, we have to drag his body all the way to the shredder and then that will complete the mission. Now as we drag him out here, like I said, there's a gardener out here. So what we're actually going to do is distract him and uh, just going to knock him out because it just gets him out of the way. So we're just going to throw a coin just right there behind the grave. And we're just going to knock him out with the crowbar once he comes over in this direction. It doesn't really matter about time at this point because, there's only, like I said, there's only two people you need to worry about. And this is one of them. So as long as we've taken out the cameras, we don't need to worry about anything. And his body ain't going to be found. So we can leave him there. And we can go and continue to drag his body all the way to the end of the courtyard. I don't know why they've really why they've added this. It's it seems a very uh, you know it seems like a, a chore more than anything else. I don't see the point of doing this other than just to make it even more convenient. I mean I'm glad they actually taken out all the enforcers around the area though because if you remember correctly there was quite a few people that was in the graveyard. Actually I'm not, I'm not completely sure about landslide. Maybe this, this is just how it is in in landslide. I'm not completely sure. But we took out that gardener there just to make sure that uh, he doesn't come into play. So we're just going to dump him in the shredder here. Like I said, none of these bodies are going to get found, so you don't need to worry about them. And we're going to activate the shredder and that will complete the objective. This objective didn't appear until we actually killed the third target when I did this during a live stream. I was like, why did they hide the objective? I'm not pretty sure why they did that, but um, that's basically how you're going to do it. So we're going to head straight to the exit now and that will get your Silent Assassin rating for level 4. There you go, like I said, you'll get the Silent Assassin rating there. Again, it's not too difficult, but then we can go ahead and move on to level 5. So for level 5, I feel like we tried to give us a shit sandwich, but uh, we had to work our way around it, but it actually worked out pretty well in the end. So we're going to bring along our Metic Syringe for this, and the Lockpick. And what you have to do is take out all three targets, and we need to do back. So make sure you pick up those two coins there at the start, and we're actually going to take out our Bodyguard first, because uh, it makes a little bit the later part a little bit easier for us. And so we don't have to involve a lot of it waiting around. Make sure you pick up that sewer key as well. So we're just going to throw a coin into the bathroom like that. And that's going to distract the bodyguard into the bathroom. And once we've done that, we're just going to subdue him and drag his body into the crate that's in the cubicle. And uh, make sure you pick up his gun as well, as well as the coin that you used the distraction a little bit earlier as well. So again, like I said, we're going to dump his body in the crate. And we're going to use a second coin to distract uh, the guard that's just outside. He's going to be at our target. And we're actually going to stab him with the emetic syringe. Now the the process of him puking in the toilet is not going to be last uh, last very long. But the important part here is as long as we do that, that uh, makes it makes the latter part of this mission a lot easier because everything just falls into place for us nicely. So it times everything a lot better if we syringe him now, just to, just to get just to interrupt his routine really. So what we're actually doing now is going to go after Bravoma's disguise, and his disguise is going to be in the office. Now Bravoma is actually in the bathroom, uh, that's just below the cafe. We can go for him there. However, there's going to be a lot of waiting around for our first target anyway, because we need to wait for him to go all the way to where the uh, the pink beetle is right at the start. I mean, do you remember where the delivery car, delivery vans are in the main mission of Sapienza? Well, there's a pink beetle in there in, in the landslide mission, and that is where eventually one of the targets goes. And there's also an old axe sticking out of the tree there, so that's where we're actually going to wait for him to get to. And then we're going to take him out there, because it's quite nice and easy. And also, while, with the Bravo armor disguise, that's the only disguise you can wear while you're carrying that axe around. You can't use a guard's disguise or anything like that, so you, that's the only disguise you have to use. So what we actually did there was climbed up the pipe and we used the lockpick on this door to get in this room. And we're going to grab the floating disguise that's in the corner. I'm not sure why it's floating like that. And then it just suddenly drops on the floor. I'm guessing that's just going to be a glitch. So while we're actually waiting as well, we're actually going to take out the cameras right now. Because we may as well, may as well do it while we're here. I mean, we got spoiled by the cameras outside as well anyway. There's going to be a guard in this room, so we're just going to leg shoot him and then knock him out. You can subdue him if you want to, but I just chose to do it that way because it's a little bit easier. And more convenient for me but so uh, once we're taking out the evidence there we're going to go down now to meet the other target i would don't recommend going all the way down to the bottom of the stairs because even though it's not a trespassing area for some reason the guard reacts like it is a trespassing area it seemed like a glitch to me so that's the reason why i went out the window here and went sliding down the pipe so we're just going to wait for the target where the pink beetle is and it should be nice and easy for them i mean overall doing level five 
It, this doing it this way, all this run is actually quite a smooth run. There's not a lot of waiting parts around, apart from this first bit here. I mean, it is annoying, but uh, I can't really see any other opportunities of taking out this this target right here. I'm sure someone else will still come up with something better than this. Uh, I mean, not much. I say better, but I'm on about faster, I should say. And the old axe is going to be sticking out of a tree to our right once he goes through these arches right here. But like I said, we can't transport the old axe with any disguise or anything. We can only use this one, and obviously it's an illegal item to carry. But this is where the old axe is going to be. I wouldn't recommend grabbing it too early though, because you might get spotted. So hold it, at, you know, grab it as, as late as you can, and then just throw it at his head, and that will kill the first target with the old axe. And if you're worried about the body being found, just dump him over the, the cliff like this, and it should be nice and safe. And you can move on to the second and third target. So what we're actually going to do now is go into where the sewers are, where Mario and Luigi are having a conversation. That's where the old axe is going to be. And we're actually going to need to interrupt that um, to get them to move, because otherwise if we grab the axe while they're there, we're going to obviously going to get spotted. So we're going to use a coin to distract Luigi, and then we're going to take out Mario and then we should be able to grab the axe nice and nice and easy and once by the time we've actually grabbed the axe we can go straight back to the bathroom where we first initially uh, stabbed the guy with the emetic syringe and then we can take him out there and we can just dump his body in the crate like I said it was important to stab him with the emetic syringe otherwise you'd have to wait about an extra minute for him to get into the position so it's a good thing we took him out with the emetic syringe at the start so we're just going to use the sewer key on this door to get into the sewers and like I said, we're going to proceed to do what we just mentioned and uh, distract Mario and Luigi. Uh, I've also noticed as well, about 90% of the doors around Sapiens and Landslide, they're all locked. So lockpick almost becomes very essential. Except uh, there's a sewer key just laying right next to a plate in the bathroom area. But So what, we're gonna, what we just did there is distract Luigi by throwing the corner in the opposite direction of where he is. And that's going to interrupt the conversation and Mario's going to come in this direction. So we're just going to crouch behind this wall right here and we're just going to do the subdue from around the corner to just get rid of him and we can leave his body there, he won't get found or anything, you don't have to worry about him. So that means we can go quickly go grab the uh, old axe and head back up the way we came. Just watch out for Luigi there as he turns around, if you're not fast enough he can spot you there so just be wary of that. So as we come up here now you'll see the target just coming in our direction now. Now at this point, um, I didn't have a coin on me so I couldn't use a distraction so I could have used the old axe in hindsight now looking back at it but I didn't think about it at the time so what I actually did is just overflow the sink. It might actually be easy if you just threw the axe on the floor but uh, I usually overflow the sink anyway. I recommend you just do uh, overflow the sink anyway just in case that doesn't work you know. So I overflow the sink here, it's going to get the, the attention of the guard and we're actually going to grab the axe as he comes back over going to slash his neck with the axe, dump his body in the crate, then we can move on to the third target. And who, by the way, you have, still have to shred his body even uh, even after you've killed him. As, despite all, of, you know, all these conditions, you've still got to have that at the end as well. I don't know why it's completely unnecessary for level 5 in my opinion, but they went ahead and got him and did it anyway. So, after we've taken out the, uh, the, the second target right there, we have to make our way back through the sewers. Now, there's another problem. Luigi is in the way, so you can either just throw a coin as a distraction, or you can wait for him to come back over here. If he does eventually come over here, this is exactly what I'm going to do. Also, I'm in two minds what to do at this point. Either throw a coin or just do what I'm about to do here. You can take him out any way you want to, but this is the way I did it. So I just shot him in the leg, just like I normally do. Just shoot him in the leg and knock him out quickly. But like I said, as long as you knock him out before he gets back up, the, um, the spotted bonus won't get affected or anything like that, so you don't need to worry about it. So once you've taken him out there, we're going to head straight through the crypt area. I'm going to grab a coin just in case. And we're going to take out this church staff member here. There's actually, again, exactly the same way. Shoot him in the leg. Punch him in the face. That will knock him out. Actually, grab, back, grab the axe again because we need that. And then we're going to head our way up the stairs. Now, the third target is going to be this same church staff guy that we had in the previous levels. We're just going to throw a coin in the opposite direction of this area to make this kill a little bit easier, which I switched the camera there to make the, the uh, coin around a corner trick a little bit easier. But then I've sliced his neck with the axe and then we can uh, go ahead and drag his body out in the garden. Again, I don't know why they added this shred the body thing to level 5. I, know, I could probably understand for level 3 or 4 or something, but for level 5, especially with all these added complications as well, it was completely unnecessary. And also make sure you unlock this door because you need to make sure you do that, otherwise you can't get out. 
Now the way we've timed everything, the gardener should be on the opposite side of the graveyard. He shouldn't be anywhere near you, but if he is, just make sure you just knock him out. Just like we did in the previous level. Um, and he shouldn't have any problems. Again, you've only got two people around this area. It's not hard to drag his body through here. It's just that one person over there that can cause you issues if he's close to you. But because he's so far away, he can't see you anyway. And as long as you've timed everything the same way, you shouldn't have any problems. We're going to go ahead and subdue this guy anyway. Just to make sure nothing happens though. Better to be safe than sorry, you know, that's what I say. It's the last point you really want to, you don't want to get spotted, I swear. If you mess up here, you're going to have to go through all the way back to the beginning. and Because it does take a while, it takes about 9 minutes to complete. I'm sure there is going to be a faster strategy out there, but this is the cleanest and smoothest and easiest way of doing it, in my opinion. And once we've shredded his body, we can head straight to the exit now, and that will complete this entire escalation. And this is our first escalation that was in Landslide. It wasn't that bad. I thought it was it was it was okay. It wasn't a great escalation by all means. I mean, it was a little bit boring for the first three levels or so because they were all basically the same kills. It was only level five really where we had to change things up a little bit. Just it's just the frustrating part is just uh, how long it actually takes to complete this for everything to fall into place. It's not like it's hard. It's just it's a long way of uh, you know. This, doing this escalation because that's just how everything is because you've got the added complication of transporting the axe with the disguise only and with all the witnesses around it makes it a little bit difficult so that's going to do it for level 5 you got the silent assassin rating so that's the entire escalation completed so thank you very much for watching feel free to drop a like on the video if it helped you out and you enjoyed it and subscribe here if you are new to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video cheers